People knew this midday. Governor Kim Reynolds is getting a first hand look at the massive tornado damage left behind in Greenfield, Iowa. We do know some residents died. Dozens others were hurt after the tornado ripped through the town yesterday. It, it's it's just gut wrenching. I, I mean, I was just in Minden, as I said, three and a half weeks ago, and that was horrific. And I think there's even more uh, debris and just more impaction, uh, the more impacted here. So it is just horrific. It's hard to describe uh, until you can actually see it, the devastation. And it's just, but at the same time, I can't begin to tell you just how heartwarming it is to see just everybody out there helping each other. Uh, a, a friend was going through a neighbor's place looking for photos and just personal items that she could uh, get back to the owner. So you just see that over and over. Now the Iowa State Patrol says this is still a search and rescue mission. They do want to make sure everyone is accounted for. The patrol has not confirmed how many people were ki killed. They did say dozens were taken to hospitals. Only Greenfield residents are allowed in the town right now, but the governor stressed the need for volunteers. Once that order is lifted, crews are still determining the extent of the impact. Sadly, we can confirm that there have been fatalities with this tornado. Also, injuries have been sustained by residents here in the Greenfield area. We are still work working to assess and update the information as it becomes available. A mandatory curfew has been put in effect for this evening from 10 p.m. tonight until 7 a.m. tomorrow. We do anticipate that curfew lasting for some time. Governor Reynolds has authorized a disaster emergency proclamation for 15 counties, including Potawatomi. Take a look at this tornado. This video is from Red Oak, Iowa. That's about an hour southeast of the Omaha metro. We're told the tornado started near the Red Oak Airport. A thank you to 6 News viewer Pamela Jones, who sent in this remarkable video. Well, back to the Greenfield tornado. We do have some good news to share from the area. Maggie Masker found her dog Luna after the tornado leveled the town. Masker's family and friends are all accounted for this morning. I'm um, just thinking Jesus <laughs> that we're all here. And my like last thing was like, I knew my daughter was okay. She was at daycare um, and all my family and friends who like live right here were all okay. But the dog <laughs> wasn't here, um, but we found her. So I'm just like so thankful to God that we're all here. And a ray of hope there. Maggie says both her and her family's homes were destroyed by the tornado.